Meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this Monday afternoon. We had a quiet day so far in a lot of spots across the Ozarks, save for maybe a couple of sprinkles um, in the northeastern Ozarks around Fort Leonard Wood, Rolla, Marys, and Miller counties as well. But we're going to see the better rain chances eventually kick in as we go through not just this afternoon, but certainly into tonight as the better moisture behind the cold front coming in will be working out of the state of Kansas and northwestern Oklahoma and through here to give us our best chance of rain until maybe next Wednesday. As far as future cast is concerned, though, it's done a decent job with the rain so far today, so I do expect that we'll see at least a chance for some scattered rain or light showers to pick up for the northwestern parts of the Ozarks as we go deeper into the afternoon. It won't be until after, let's say, the evening rush that we'll start to see the better chances for substantial rain, maybe some moderate to heavy pockets of rain and some rumbles of thunder. That is when it will come on through to take us through tonight and into the morning drive on Tuesday. But with this activity, I'm not expecting anything strong or severe and really not expecting this to be a flooding concern either. But plan on some rain chances still to start your Tuesday morning out. But as we go into the afternoon, the departing cold front to the southeast, we'll take the rest of the rain chances out of here. And we'll also see sunshine start to return through the day and certainly Tuesday afternoon as well. Now, as far as how much rain to expect, I think a lot of us on the average, like we said the other day, about half an inch or less on the average, but depending on where those good bouts of rain can line up and pass on through, there could be some spots that could see half an inch, maybe up to an inch tops. So we'll take whatever rain we can get because other than maybe a stray chance for rain for a brief time this coming weekend, we'll have to wait until next Wednesday for another good substantial shot for some rain and maybe some thunderstorms. In fact, the upper level setup shows us clearing the skies out for Tuesday and keeping us quiet for Wednesday under partly the mostly sunny skies. And the system that we have been watching that we thought would clip us with some rain chances Thursday and Friday Look how the better moisture with that is now confined to the south of us. So we unfortunately took the rain chances out while we stayed partly to mostly sunny for Thursday and Friday this week. But there is still an upper level low that will develop in the Rockies going into this weekend that will still want to come on by as we go into Sunday. So after a dry Friday and Saturday, you can see how this projection wants to bring at least some isolated showers our way for Sunday, especially during the morning hours. But by no means does this look like a washout, but something that we'll still keep an eye on for you. As far as temperatures go, it's going to be not much more in terms of warming things up for the rest of the day. Upper 70s to highs near 80 across the region today. Then the increasing rain chances tonight and that passing cold front, despite the clouds in place, will force the numbers back down into the lower 60s. 61 in Springfield and 62 for Harrison. Then the hour-by-hour -hour temperatures for the rest of the region today will, again, keep a lot of us in the upper 70s to about 80 degrees for highs this afternoon. And then going into this evening, the numbers will drop as our cold front starts to bring in some cooler air and the forcing the numbers back into the lower 60s Tuesday morning. And with, even with returning sunshine Tuesday afternoon, the cooler air behind the front will certainly make it feel like fall, with these numbers topping out in the lower to middle 70s for Tuesday afternoon. And this will be a mild fall-like trend that will hold through the rest of the week. Even as the numbers push back into the middle to upper 70s Wednesday all the way through this weekend, these numbers will run below the average high of 83. So that is a nice change of pace, something that we will enjoy before we see highs potentially back into the 80s by early next week. So rain or shine will keep highs in the 70s primarily through the course of this week. Then after morning lows in the lower 60s Tuesday, we'll see these numbers back in the lower to middle 50s Wednesday morning through Friday morning, and then back into the upper 50s for the rest of the mornings for the upcoming weekend.